हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पावर एम्पलीफायर्स पावर एम्पलीफायर्स आर नथिंग बट द एम्पलीफायर्स दैट एम्पलीफाइज द पावर ऑफ द सिग्नल सो द पावर एम्पलीफायर एम्पलीफाइज द पावर ऑफ द सिग्नल so power can be given as p is equal to v into i so in a power amplifier the voltage and current will be amplified the power amplifiers can be classified into different types first one is class a power amplifier second type is class b power amplifier next type is class ab power amplifier and fourth type is class c power amplifier in class a power amplifier the q point is at the center of the dc load line in class b power amplifier the q point or operating point is at the cut off region and in class ab power amplifier the q point is in between the center of the dc load line and the cut off region in class c power amplifier the q point is below the cut off region in class a power amplifier the q point is at center of the dc load line in class b power amplifier the q point is at cut off region in class ab power amplifier the q point is between center of the dc load line and the cut off region and in class c power amplifier the q point is below the cut off region so depending upon the location of q point on the dc load line we can classify the power amplifiers into different types now let us understand class a power amplifier in class a power amplifier the q point is located at the center of the dc load line since q point is at the center of the dc load line the output signal varies over full cycle of the input signal as shown in this figure this is the output current and this is the output voltage of class a power amplifier as you can observe from this diagram from the center of the dc load line where the q point is present we have the maximum current which is ic maximum and minimum current which is ic minimum and at the output voltage we have the minimum voltage which is vce minimum and maximum voltage which is vce maximum so in a class a power amplifier the q point is located at the center of the dc load line the output signal varies over full cycle of the input signal the collector current flows for 360 degree which is full cycle of the input signal as shown in the figure now let us understand class b power amplifier in class b power amplifier the q point is located at the cut off region since the q point is located exactly on the cut off region the output signal varies over one half of the input signal which means the output flows for 180 degree which is half cycle of the input signal so this is the collector current of the class b power amplifier and this is the collector voltage of class b power amplifier so in a class b power amplifier the q point is located at the cut off region the output signal varies over one half of the cycle of input signal the collector current flows for 180 degree which is half cycle of the input signal as shown in the figure so the output signal varies only for 180 degree or half cycle of the input signal now let us understand class ab power amplifier 
in class ab power amplifier the q point is located below the center of the dc load line and above the cutoff region hence the output is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree of the input signal this is the output voltage of class ab power amplifier and this is the output current of class ab power amplifier in class ab power amplifier the q point is selected in such a way that the output is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree of the input signal the q point is selected in between the center of the dc load line and cutoff region so in class ab power amplifier the q point is selected in such a way that the output is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree as shown in the figure now let us understand class c power amplifier in class c power amplifier the transistor is biased below the cutoff region so the q point will be present below the cutoff region hence only a part of input signal is represented at the output this is the output current and this is the output voltage of class c power amplifier so in a class c power amplifier the transistor is biased below the cutoff region here the q point remains in active region for less than half cycle hence only a part of input signal is represented at the output therefore the collector current flows for less than 180 degree of the input signal since q point is below the cutoff region the output is less than 180 degree as shown in the figure now let us classify the power amplifiers based on different parameters first let us consider the operating cycle if we consider class a power amplifier the output will be for 360 degree in class b power amplifier output is for 180 degree if we consider class c power amplifier output is less than 180 degree and in class ab power amplifier the output is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree if we consider the operating point the class a power amplifier the q point will be at the center of the load line in class b power amplifier the q point is on the cutoff region in class c power amplifier q point will be below the cutoff region and in class ab power amplifier the q point will be above cutoff region and below the center of the load line if we consider the input output waveform so for a class a amplifier this is the input waveform and output waveform will be for 360 degree if we consider the class b power amplifier the output is only for 180 degree in case of class c power amplifier the output waveform will be less than 180 degree in class ab power amplifier output will be for more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree if we consider the efficiency in class a power amplifier the efficiency is poor which will be from 25% to 50% if we consider the class b power amplifier the efficiency is better that will be 78.5% the efficiency of class c power amplifier is very high compared to class a and class b power amplifier that will be more than 90% in class ab power amplifier the efficiency is more than class a power amplifier and less than class b power amplifier if we consider distortion the class a power amplifier will be having no distortion or distortion is absent in class b power amplifier the distortion will be present and in class c power amplifier the distortion will be very high and in class ab power amplifier there will be distortion present as you can observe if we get more output waveform efficiency is poor but there will be less distortion 
if you get less output waveform efficiency will be high but distortion will be more this is about classification of power amplifiers hope you have understood the topic thank you